Your scenario may not be identical to mine. I was doing an in-place upgrade of server 2012 R2 to server 2022. After the initial reboot happened, my computer would go to a blue screen. It would perform like a disk check and then would reboot into Windows and show that we couldn't install Windows Server. We set your PC back to the way it was right before you started installing Windows Server. 0xC1900101, 0x20017. The installation failed in the safe OS phase with an error during boot operation. So this is what I got. What I did to resolve it was I uninstalled the antivirus software disconnected the network adapter because this was a VM, a virtual machine server. I instructed the install to not download the updates. Unfortunately, I don't know which of the three fixed it because I selected all three of these options on the same try. One of those three did it. Maybe all three did it. I thought it was some kind of a driver. I'll tell you what didn't do it. I was concerned that Maybe my VMware tools were causing it because I had upgraded the VMware tools prior to upgrading. I thought that'd be the right thing to do. I thought when I was blue screening that it was because maybe the new VMware tools were the problem. I also saw that my VMware tools were not at the same level as the host VMware tools, but it turned out neither of those were the problem. So in this particular case, if it's happening to you, don't think it's your VMware tools. At least it wasn't for me. It was either the antivirus, the network adapter, or the updates. Most likely it was the antivirus. I saw in a lot of forums, people were saying uninstall the antivirus, but I can't tell you for sure. So those are the three things I did. Now, if anybody's at this video, they're looking for answers. So in the event that my situation wasn't your situation and you found a way to fix it that was different than mine, put it in the comments for all the people in the future that are gonna try to do an in-place upgrade of server 2012 to server 2022, especially next year when server 2012 is no longer supported by Microsoft. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Let us know. Thank you for watching. This is Technupa.